Okay, here's how you do it. Yeah. You get the photograph. You get the photograph of the subject. If it's Marilyn or whatever, you get the photograph, you take it in. Then you have uh, a copy made on the, on a negative. And then you take the, the reverse negative down and you put it and have it made on a screen, silk screen. Mm -hmm. They burn it in. Mm -hmm. And you take it there, you got it. And you just draw the ink over and you got the perfect image. Mm -hmm. And then the background, you have to paint the background. Like the Maryland there, mm -hmm. paint the eyelids and hand me that thing and I'll show it to you. <laughs> it's like this. The black is is the image. Mm -hmm. The ink is the image. Mm -hmm. The eyes, the eyebrows, the hair, that's the image. Mm -hmm. And what you do is that you make a you make a, 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 a round oval place like that and you paint it flesh color. Then you paint it with the eyelids. You paint the eyes blue in there. Paint that blue. And then you paint the lips. You make the lips. You paint the lips. Then you paint the collar. Mm -hmm. And you paint the background orange. Mm -hmm. And then you screen over it. And you got it. It's a print. It's a printing form. So it's like uh, very simple to do. Or you get the Liz Taylor photograph. Or you get the Marilyn's photograph. Get Brandis photograph. You can go buy those photographs anywhere, you know, where they have old Hollywood uh, things. And it's the same ones that Andy used, you know. Where, where did Andy get the idea to do this? Because instead of uh, uh, Malanga, Gerard, they came up with this idea. You have to talk to him because he would never explain it to me. Mm 